Hello everyone, I'm the chosen one. Welcome to another ch back on. Um, let's see. Let me do a tweet again. Okay, we're back. I'm tweeting again because some people might come and then they might see that and might not even know that I'm back on again so I'm just gonna redo everything
okay um let me let me I'm just, I hate that. Ugh. Everything just went. I hate this. So to explain what happened so people like know what's going on yay we're live again yay let's go um so just so people who know what happens it's not that just so you guys understand the, the thing it's like when the stream is lagging it's not that it's lagging it's that's not what it is what happens is that before i stream i have to hit a button to broadcast right I could stop streaming at any time, but the stream itself on YouTube will still stay on. So basically, all it means is that the stream is not streaming. So that's why it's just gone constant buffer. The stream on YouTube hasn't ended because I haven't ended it on YouTube. But the stream itself, I stop it or I could start it whenever I can. So whenever you see the long buffer thing, that has nothing to do with internet or like issues. It's more so just it's not streaming anymore. And the reason I have to stop streaming is because there will be a t and for some reason like an error code pops up and it automatically shuts the stream off and I have to just be like I have to refresh everything and then when I have to come back all that loading of restarting the computer opening e OBS and then clicking start streaming is when it'll refresh like it'll continue from where it left off because i can't say that's the same thing as those times when i used to be like oh let me stop the stream really quick you'll see it buffer and then i'll start it again and it kind of just picks up where i left off and if you watch the vod it'll just cut to the next part it started streaming again that's what it is um yeah the the reason it died now is because what happened it had that glitch again that weren't when i started streaming and then when i transitioned to the main scene like what you're looking at now from the starting soon screen to the to the main screen it's like an error code popped up and said like oh you your your um your drive update your drivers it's not compatible but it, that's a glitch because i'm literally streaming right now and it's not saying that anymore i don't know why that, that glitch even used to kind of happen on on streamlabs like, that was a thing that used to happen on Streamlabs as well. Like, it used to just, like, um... For some reason... When I used to switch to the main screen, it used to be like, oh, error. But it didn't... It wasn't for the same reason. But I noticed that every time I switch to the main scene, that happens sometimes. But it says a different thing. But sometimes the reason it's saying, it's not even the reason why it's doing that. Because right now, I didn't update any drivers, and now it's working, so... Doesn't really make sense. But yeah, I'll give people time to come in and stuff. So I retweeted out again. I um was there stuff to talk about. I ate lunch. I had time to eat dinner, so now I'm full of energy. Um Okay, so let's see here. What are we gonna start with? I I've, I've been wanting to rant about something already, but the stream stuff wasn't letting me. Now I finally could rant about the new trailer that dropped. So let's get right into it. Let me open Chrome. Now I just realized something. I kind of was, as I, I was mentioning Streamlabs, my eyes happen to look right now at the, the Streamlabs logo on my thing. And I'm like, wait a minute. If I don't use Streamlabs anymore, right? Does that mean, well, huh, I want, wait, how does that work? I just realized I need to, I have to, um, fix that. Cause right now if somebody like, here's the thing with OBS, there's no like, remember when I could do test donation, test subscriber, you could actually see it. 
there's no option on here for that so we haven't gotten any of that since i switched if i'm not mistaken so i'm hoping it still works i think it'll still work for the sole fact the alert box is still here i think it's connected to alert box so whether i'm using streamlabs or obs if someone were to sub or donate or whatever it'll still pop up i just got worried right now because i'm like what if this whole time i was getting notifications and i had no idea so i just want to make sure that's working that would suck if i miss it because it's not like synced to my obs i think it automatically syncs because everything else synced and the alert box is still there so the alert should still come up even if it's on a different thing so i think we're good i think we're fine um but yeah let's see Boo -doo 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 -doo. Um, okay, so let's open YouTube. And let me... Let me start putting the internet screen up. So let me put... YouTube video. Properties. And... there we go perfect okay um let me turn my music off and put that up okay Doo -doo -doo. okay here we go new trailer how's my day been i've been good i've been awesome well, I've been alright, actually. Um, okay. I don't really do analysis trade um analysis of trailers, but in particular, I kind of want to analyze this trailer because there's a lot that I have questions about, and I just want to rant about them. So, um, Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes got a new trailer. It's called Mysterious Mercenary Trailer so let's let's take a look i'm gonna be pausing it i'm gonna assume everyone saw it already so i'm gonna be pausing it um i just want to go over some stuff so let's do this this is what's weird okay so this is what's what's um this starts out really weird because it shows this new purple hair guy again but then it it kind of this um text that comes up talks as if you're it's talking from his perspective because it mentions the ashen demon and it's making it seem as though if by was bad it's just one mer It's so weird. I don't know what's that. Also, the music in this trailer was so amazing. Okay, two things. One, I don't know why he has the same voice actor as Claude. It kind of sounds like Claude, doesn't it? Why, though? Two, I like how it says Shez, and then name could be changed. <laughs> like, what the heck? What's the point of that? <laughs> also, this is the part that threw me off. If this is a bad guy, why is there two, like, watch. Say? This. You're able to select this character's form. I don't get this. Like, who is this? Is this a protagonist or an enemy? I, I don't understand. He uses two. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Wait. This guy's using two swords. I'm- wait. 
I always, I always, um... Sorry, someone was asking me something. Um, um, yeah, that it's like, what was I on about? What did I just say right now? Yeah, like why you're able to choose this character as well? Like what the heck? I need to get stronger if I'm gonna do what I need to. Oh, the two, the, 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 there we go, the two-bladed thing, yeah, 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 um, you're able to use two blades, I always requested for them to be a two-blade character, like, for you to be able to use two swords, this is like the first time in Fire Emblem you're able to use two swords, and they're finally, like, they're doing it in a Warriors game first, but I remember I always dream of them putting, like, dual wielding, also, you could choose three paths. I didn't expect that. So there is three paths. Also, we got more Hubert. This is okay. So all of the, the the main retainers get shown off. So we got Hubert that gets shown. He looks so cool. The dude finally gets revealed. He has a beard now. Let me hold on. I wanna. I can't really see it from here. And then the best one, Hilda gets shown off. This hairstyle, hold on, I need to see this hairstyle. It's a bun now. And they actually fight with their weapon, like that's so cool. This part's kind of crazy. So Flane gets revealed. She's gonna be here. Now this is what blew my mind. Oh, Anna's there? I just noticed Anna was there in the map. I love this remix right here. I want to see if I catch anything. Because there was a lot going on in this trailer. I kind of like it though. It's a lot of different, like... Monica, wait, go back. Yeah, the whole Monica thing is throwing me off. Mo why Monica's a unit this time? But that's, that's probably the original Monica. I just realized that. That's why she's here. This is the actual Monica, the one we never actually got to know. Oh shoot! I'm liking this so far because it seems to be like they're filling in all the... Like, this is exactly what I wanted, basically. I didn't know it was going to be a Warriors game, but it seems like they're filling in all the gaps in Three Houses lore. And that's interesting because it's like there's so much stuff they need to go into that I'm hoping this game goes into. This remix is so sick, though. Also, wait, go back. I need to, like, observe the animation. Hold on. Like, is it just me? Or that felt like... I mean, it still looks like three houses. But, like, what if it's, it, it reminded me a bit of, like, when you know the transition from Fates to Echoes? Where it's like the animations got more cleaner. Why well, I felt like that looked a bit cleaner. Like, the way, like, she blocked that it looked a lot more, like... It looked more expressive, like... It looked more like she was actually blocking the attack. Like, I think they cleaned it up a bit. Oh, Lo oh Lawrence gets shown. That's right. It's like, it's weird. This game doesn't feel real because it feels like they're just, they look like they're, um, they literally look like the portrait, but just with a different hairstyle and outfit. It almost looks like a ROM hack. <laughs> Like, you look at Lawrence, it looks almost exactly like... But wait, this this kind of confirms that this is post-time skip, I think. Because that's Lawrence's post-time skip look. Like, if you look at his face, that's, that's the exact, like, face he has in post-time skip. Wait... 
Same with Mercedes. I didn't even notice this. Yeah, they're like they're in the same like post time skip pose, but like with different attire. That's interesting. And then you see, you play as the the the, the purple guy. This world cries out for change, while you keep it shackled to the past. We. Holy cow. Wait, whoa, 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 who the heck was this? I didn't see this. Who is this? Who is this? Wait, 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 who is this? Who is this supposed to be? This guy looks very similar to Claude, but I don't know what to think of it before I get too excited. Who is this? He has the same hair, same, like, complexion and everything. We can finally avenge all of those who have... <laughs> I, I saw a funny well, comment on Twitter. To the past. We can finally avenge... <laughs> I saw a funny, a funny comment on this, how... Someone was just like fanboying how Dimitri just does inhuman stuff sometimes. Like he just gets shot at with a purple ball and he just like swats it away with his hand. Like no one does that. And that's so true. Like you're gonna hit it with your weapon or block against it. This guy just confidently walks towards it and just swats it with his hand. Like no one does that. <laughs> Am I gonna be next? You were the cog that was missing from the turn wheel. The one by You were the one who was missing from the turn. What? As a mercenary who was meant to fade in. Who is this? Is this supposed to be like chosen from New Mystery? Because this is giving me very like, oh, the, the shadow hero that wasn't talked about or whatever. As a like, what the heck? Trust me. No. This is what made me scream. This was the part that made me scream. This is when I knew this game was doing exactly what I wanted. Is that who I think it is? Is that host? Is that host? Oh my god, I can't believe we're actually gonna see Hilda's brother. Finally! You know how much this guy was hyped up in the original? We don't see anything about him. And then this guy seems like he's related to Caspar. It, it makes sense, but it's even, he even has the Goneril symbol oh, on his- Yes! Oh my god! He looks so cool too! So wait, 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 let's get a better shot of him, hold on. It shows Hilda right before him, so... This guy looks so sick. Trust me, no regrets. This guy looks so sick! And then look, it's showing the purple guy interacting with the lord. So it's like, what's the deal with Bi Like, does Byleth recruit this person? Maybe they fight, but then they join? It could be that, too. And then who's this? Who is this? This this person looks like Edelgard. Like, I don't know if that's just a coincidence, but like, when I saw this, it looked like Edelgard. A lot. And this remix, oh my god, my sweet Age of Calamity, that the music just got so good. And then why they show this? This is the part that, that gets me a little, like, confused. Because at the very end, they show select the Ashen Demons form, and they're, they're using that term again. Like, that term was barely mentioned in the original, and the fact they're bringing it up is kind of sus. And... I don't know. It's funny how they really hype up the, the purple hair character as they're facing forward. And then by left, they're facing away from you. Like, I feel like that's a very subtle hint for something, but I'm not, like, sure. Like, why? They almost come off she antagonistic. Like of what I've heard about that fella. Yeah, now what What's they're saying... Why do they end the trailer with that? What the heck? 
That's so suspicious. Why are they ending the trailer with that? They 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 show everything in the trailer. They emphasize um Shez, and then at the very end, they show this. Like, they, they did this on purpose, so we could be, like, confused. Because it's like, why do we select both characters? Why they're coming off more antagonistic? What was the point of leaving that comment there? Like, there's a lot of... They, they want us to be confused, and I'm, like, wondering what the heck. And then this beginning part, they, they, they show Byla very, like, almost villainous looking yeah throughout this whole trailer it just hit me i feel like shez is really the one that you're playing as you're playing as shez what's the deal with byleth what happened what what like like do you not play as byleth and uh, here's my theory they didn't want you to play as Byleth again, so they made a new character. Byleth gets tied in, but as someone... It's it's to give more, I guess, lore to Byleth, I would assume? I thought we had all the lore for Byleth, though. There's a lot going on here. And I'm really excited for this game for two reasons. One, even though I was never big on Warriors games, Age of Calamity changed that for me. Because Age of Calamity ended up being the best Warriors game ever made. And it was done really, really well. Where I actually c consider it like a Zelda game. Um, so I have high expectations of this. Especially since it's Three Houses. Because Three Houses is... um has a lot of good lore in it that didn't get completed. I feel like it's going to get completed in this game. And I was very, I was really invested in the Fodolin lore. Like, out of all the Fire Emblem games, I think, other than Tellius, I think this was the game I was most invested in the actual lore. So I'm actually excited to see how it plays out. Because I actually want to know, like, certain things. Like, the fact that Hostess here... The fact, who is this guy? Why is Byleth being almost seen as a villain? If I were to... Who the heck is this? Also, that cover, wait. Then there's the cover, because then you have... You have Byleth, and then you have Sophus. And then you have this guy, but with... The, like, they don't... They must not be bad either, then. Then why they're clashing? Like, does this has nothing to do with Nemesis, I would assume. Like, I don't get it. Also, I find it funny how the female Byleth is, is more emphasized. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what's this about. This is really weird. I don't know what's this about. I'm going to watch it one more time without pausing. Just to see if I catch anything. And then she was about to kill him. What the heck? I mean, that is how they describe Byleth, but I don't know. It just... Okay, I figured it out. That's not Shez talking. That's literally just... Cla I didn't catch that that was just Claude talking over the trailer. I thought that was him talking. That is Claude talking. What do you say? I need to get stronger if I'm going to do what I need to. Yeah, because that guy is a different guy that talked. So th I think that was just Claw talking. Or I could be wrong. I don't know. Let us walk forward on this path and see where it takes us. Hubert looks really cool. I just like as the animations are going to be so much more cleaner. Like, I'm going to be able to play as these characters I fell in love with. And then, like, they actually look cool. Not, like, super, like, 
like they have more expressiveness when they fight so it's like that's really cool i just want to know who's in this game who's playable can it just be everyone and that's how i know it's it's time skip because it's barbarossa claude but it's like I don't, it's like, it, I don't get it. Like, they look kind of the same. They look like they're in between now, time skip almost. Like. This is crazy to me. No wonder right now I saw Hilda and I'm trying to figure out what looks different. And I finally figured it out. It's the fact we're seeing these characters in actual good rendered, like, animation finally. Like, when we saw these characters, they were never in those really, like, those nice cutscenes. You know, there's the 3D cutscenes that look slightly better than the in-game, and they're, like, more expressive. This looks better than that, obviously, but, like, it, it feels weird seeing these characters, like, actually now, in cutscenes. Like, actually, like, like, with yeah, more, with actual expressions. Oh, I'm assuming that's Rayo. Oh, I know it's gonna be like the shops. I love how they still add the RPG stuff. That's what makes it more. Monica's gonna be in the game. You could have adjutants, okay. And it's like a mixture of warriors where you go off the pair up thing, kind of. This world cries out for change while you keep it shackled to the past. We can find. I'm glad though, because you do know what this means, right? The next Fire Emblem game isn't going to be by Koi Tecmo, most likely. Which means that we don't have to see these ugly graphics ever again. Like, the next Fire Emblem game is probably being worked on by someone else. Most likely, intelligence systems by themselves, but we don't know. It could be someone else as well that helps, but at least it confirms they were working on this, so intelligence systems must be working on something else. Am I going to be next? You were the cog that was missing from the turn wheel. The one final push that urged me to act. Trust me, no regrets here. I'm the closest ally you have. Remember, we're partners in destiny. Gonna be one hell of a fight, especially if the Ashen Demon is here. Don't like a smidge of what I heard about that fella. Or was it a woman? <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay. Um So yeah, let me pull my music back on. Um That's really interesting. I'm I'm really excited for this game. I was always excited for it because it's the fact I really did want another three, like a Fodlin. Like I do feel this was the perfect thing they did because I feel like in reality I did want another three houses related game. But I understand why people would just want a brand new one entirely. But at the same time, I felt like it was so 
rich and unfinished and stuff so i feel like i would have loved if they added more to it so i'm so glad they took the warriors approach for the sole fact that in my opinion that is the best way they could do that since age of calamity it worked out so well like that 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 that's what makes me have trust in this because what age of calamity they did the same thing and it was like it basically gave you everything you wanted from the previous breath of the wild it did have its issues here and there and there is stuck some controversial stuff in there but overall the like it came out really good and it was it, it did exactly what almost what i wanted with with breath of the wild and then this is following the same thing like it's doing exactly and then just giving you the opportunity to play as the characters, I feel like that that's also just another really smart thing to do. Like, Fire Emblem really matches the Warriors engine. Like, as far as, like, because it's a war game, so it's, like, perfect. Like, at first, Fire Emblem Warriors was the best Warriors game. Until Age of Calamity came out, until Persona 5 Strikers came out. Now they're, like, stepping up their game a bit with the Warrior games. I'll, I'll say this until the end of time. Nintendo Warriors games are the best ones. Like, they're the most innovative for that series. Because that series was always known for being, like, very mid. Nintendo kind of helped them make it even better and more popular. So that's, that's good. The whole Musou games and stuff. So this comes out in June. At the end of June. So, eh, like, two and a half months. Still a while. But I'm gonna be streaming this. I'm excited to to dive in the lore. Just like what Age of Calamity. So I'm really excited for this. Um, there's a lot of stuff coming out. Because then there's Mario Strikers. I don't know how excited I am for Nintendo Switch Sports. For the sole fact there's so many games. And I don't know if... That's one of those series where it was a thing... Like a... It was a thing for its time, if that makes sense. Like, I enjoyed that growing up. Wii Sports, Wii Sports was, or I don't know how excited I am for, like, Nintendo Switch Sports. But at least it's another multiplayer game to play, so that that's always good. Um, as far as, um... As far as, um... Every other game, same with Strikers... Um, that's another multiplayer game. Um, hold on, I want to like remember all the stuff. Let's let's go back like two months. Um, what else is coming out? What else is coming out? Well, Advanced Wars got delayed, but that's good. We have more time. Um, Life Alive. I'm excited for. It's a lot of stuff we're going to be playing on the channel. It makes me feel like that we even have time to play other stuff like that I play on, like older games. Oh, we also have that visual novel rhythm game I really wanted. I never want to forget about that. Oh, 13 Sentinels is coming to Switch. I didn't know that. Is that a different one? My brother played that. He, he really liked that game. But he played it on a different system. I still don't get why Persona 4 Arena is coming, but not Persona 4 and 5. Like, that doesn't... Can they just please put the Persona games on Switch? Like, that. that's one of the most, like, easiest things to do. Since they're not even graphically, like, weird. And they're just such good games. And, like, that's such an easy sell. What are they doing? Like, do a whole collection. 3, 4, and 5. Or release them separately. I don't care. Just put them on Switch. Hey, that's that's such an easy thing to do. Like, business decision-wise. And they can't say, like, oh, they're being hard to port. Because it's like, how did Persona 5 Strikers, Persona 4, like, they made a whole new game and this. 
and put it on the system. This is a port. And that's a port too, and they didn't do it, so I don't know what's going on. Unless, the reason they're taking long is because they're porting all three, and they just, they want to make sure all three are ready. So maybe that's why it's taking a while. That could, that's the only reason I could see that will make sense. If not, it's stupid that they're not doing working on it, if that's the case. It's like, why wouldn't you have Persona on Switch? You have Strikers, you have freaking Shin- You have Shin Megami Tensei exclusive on Switch. What the heck? That's like really good too. And you have freaking Joker and Smash. Like at this point, yeah, that, that's just dumb. They, they, they better come to Switch. I'm gonna have a problem. I'm gonna have a problem with them. Uh, are we done looking at stuff? Let me think. Is that everything? I think that's everything. <laughs> okay. Um... So every time I get on here, I want to just do a like little test of awakening. We have to do it every time, just just to test it. We have to, we have to just see if it works. Cons just so I could get a consistent like idea of like how much it works every time. So from what I'm seeing, it's like from what I'm seeing exactly. The, the configuration has to be the way I set it to. It has to be enable new 3DS mode. Um, like, I kind of tested out all the different things. I mean, we could look it up together. You know what? We could do that. You know what? Before we, we mess with anything, hold on. Um, let's just look it up together. Let, let's look it up together. Where is it? Hold on. Window capture internet screen. Yeah, like let's let's um let's look this up together so we could figure this out. Um Fire Emblem Awakening Citra Settings with no lag. I don't know, something. Let's see. Okay, this is from 2020. Let's just get an idea of like... Okay, interesting. It says turn off texture dumping in the graphics option. Texture jump dumping? Texture dumping. Oh no, it's already off. Okay, so we're fine with the... Yeah, we need to, like, figure this out.
Let's see. Also make combat animations run more smoothly. Oh, that was literally my comment. Oh, guns! I I seen that already, <laughs> cause I commented on it. That was just a sixty frames thing. I didn't realize that 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 mod I got was just to put in sixty frames. That's nothing to do. I mean, it's good. I got that. That's really cool, but that's really unnecessary because it didn't really even affect anything. I think I would hope so. Um, what's going on? Trying to like find Does fates work? I just noticed that. Like I haven't even tried fates. Does fates work? I didn't try fates. I've just realized that. Like, I didn't try Fire Emblem Fates. Wait, did I delete Fates? What the heck? Don't tell me I deleted Fates. Come on. Come on, don't tell me I deleted Fates. Why would I just randomly delete Fates? Ah, oh, come on. Don't do that. Why did I delete Fates? Why would I do that? Did I really just do that? Did I really delete Fates? Why the heck would I do that? Doesn't even take that much memory. Well, regardless, let's let's try awakening again today. Let's see how it working today. It's that freaking sound that sounds so weird. I almost feel like the patches was making it get like that to an extent because I wonder if like it would still lag if it had the 60 frames because I don't really need for it to be on 60 frames I feel like every day it works a little bit better I feel like it doesn't lag that hard. But it's the music. 
that sounds awful. No matter what, the music sounds awful. That's the problem. So, I'm gonna have to always... It's the fact the animations... Having them work consistently. So I think the music, that's never gonna work. However... If I do, like... Like, this makes it so that I could have... You see, we're so close for the animations working fine. Look at that. Look at that. It's so close. Right now I'm running music and it's like working pretty good. Like we're so close to getting it working, I feel. I feel like if my computer had less stuff on it, I feel like this would have worked fine. It's so close. Like, it's running so almost so... It has like that lag here and there. Sorry, I left right as you were gushing about three hopes. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really have anyone to talk to about it, but I have it on the VOD if anyone is curious to see what I said. A lot of good stuff. But yeah, I feel like we're so close. We're so close. Let's look how it's moving smoothly even with the music that I put on. It's moving smoothly. Like, look at that. It's doing pretty good. It's not that bad. Like, I actually can't believe that it's actually working pretty good. It like lags for certain things, like Robin's magic is when it gets messed up a bit. Ah, it's so close. It makes me think, like, what if I take the 60 frame? I'm afraid to remove the 60 frames mod. Because I don't know if that's exactly what's affecting it or not. I don't know. I feel like... I almost want to take the 60 frames out, though. Because it's like... It's like too fast for me. Like, I feel like... I would want it to just be normal. How do I remove the mod? I don't even know how I installed the 60 frames mod. I'm gonna have to look in the... the video again. I'm gonna have to look at the video again that I did, um... Fire Emblem Awakening... 60 FPS... What was that video I found? Uh, Citra Awakening 60 FPS I'm just gonna rewatch that video to see how I applied the mod and see how I could take it off Give me a second.
Oh, cheats. Cheats, cheats. I have to go to cheats. Okay, I see. So I'm gonna remove the 60 frames. I don't know if that's smart, but... Let's see. Oh, I just have to turn them off. Is it still in 60 frames? Oh. It's on normal. Oh my god, it makes you realize how slow the game is. It almost seems as though it doesn't lag. Wait a minute. Now that it's not going too fast. Let me see something. Be funny if that's what was causing everything. It doesn't seem like it's lagging anymore. Oh, hold on, wait a minute. It has its little... Yes. The bottom screen's frozen. Is it? Hold on. Um, both screens, I think, are frozen. Or no, it's the... <sighs> okay, top screen... Okay. I think it's working now. Hold on. I have a question for chat. You know those times it lags when I do like a critical hit or attack and it like it's since it stretches out the sound, it sounds like it hurts your ears. Um well, that's the question I have. Does it like hurt your guys' ears? Is it like really loud when it get when it stretches out the sound when it gets like messed up, or is that just on my end? Because for me, when it does that, my ears get like, ah, it's so annoying. Like the sound is really loud. funny because it seems as though the 60 frames is what caused it because now it seems to run a little better there. like it's running pretty almost perfectly like, it's very rare that it's lagging right now. Kind of impressed right now. I kind of can't believe how, how well it's running right now. Like, it's kind of running fine. I can't tell the difference. Um, what do you mean? As in, at what what specifically can you tell the difference? Like, do you feel it's watchable? Frames, I mean. Oh, the frames thing? Oh, well, that is very good. Like, if we go back to the 60 frame, you'll notice it instantly. It goes super fast. Like, everything's on fast forward, basically. 
But that's not really what I'm asking right now. I'm asking if in general is it working fine? Like, do you guys feel it's like I feel like, like, is it me or the music even fixed? I feel as though the music itself even fixed. You can do it. Are you done? I mean, the music song. Now I'm gonna try another thing. Putting my own custom music now and see how it runs. What well, difficulty I'm playing on? We haven't decided 100% yet because um, I haven't even started the playthrough. But we're trying to. What I'm trying to do is hard difficulty Iron Man. When I play, I'll probably do hard difficulty. I'm just testing this out on a random file I had in the past. I think this is working. I'm gonna let chat decide. If this was how I was playing the game, is this satisfactory enough? Me putting- right now I have custom music playing in the background. Does this sound fine? Like, does it seem as though, like, everything's pretty, like, fine? Like, the ga the gameplay itself, with a little bit of lag and stuff, like... Or does it still have enough, like, some cleaning up I will need to do? Because... I need to know for sure. No, yeah. Right now, we're not even playing. We're not even gonna be playing this game on this stream. I'm just- I, every stream, I'm testing it, so that way, when I finally do a stream of this game, we don't have to worry about any of this. Because when I do this, I'm gonna do it on a separate stream. I'm gonna name the video after Awakening and everything. It's better than Awakening runs on my Citra, which is impressive since yours needs to translate to stream. Oh, okay. So that's good to hear, I guess. Okay, so you guys saying it's fine. So... Do you guys think... I need your guys' opinion. It's up to the audience to decide. Should I stream this game in the quality that it's at right now? Is it enough where it's like not a detriment to the, the playthrough? Right. I only ask this because I don't want this to affect like if I decide to do this playthrough there's no going back I have to continue with it I just want to make sure it's um it's actually working fine enough where it's like you know Okay, um, let's restart. Let's just do like a...
Lissa's dead? No, 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 she's not dead. Anyone who died doesn't matter, I keep resetting. This is, this is not even a real file. This is just me getting this to work. Um... It's definitely not a detriment, and if anyone thinks so, you can demod them if necessary, and I can remove them from the channel. <laughs> well, yeah, everything seems to be working, so... Get rid of instructions. Um, I'm pretty okay. I want need to look at the stream back after I finish to see if everything's good. Just in time for the 10 year anniversary. Uh, oh, for Awakening, is it? 2012? Wow, really? That would be awesome, I played on the 10th anniversary. Really? Wait, can we not do pair up yet? I feel like it's working enough where it's like fine. I think. I don't know anymore. It's like I can't tell. Let me just test like changing the the music. I'll lower those sounds just a little bit. Should I lower the sounds a little bit or is it fine on your end? <laughs> <laughs> 
Like, should I lower them in comparison to the music, or is it fine? Yeah, I don't really know about anniversaries for every single thing. Unless I see it on the news or something, like gaming news. At this point, it's like... I know part of me just wants to turn animations off completely. That'd be better, cause... Well, I'll check the stream after the fact and see which one came out the most clean. I mean, that is what I did on my last Iron Man. When I played this. I was playing it with no animations on. But then I don't like how the music still has to be an issue. We play with no animations and no. We we play with neither. Are you ready? So I could also do this. Because you see with this, it doesn't lag anything. So when I play music, I could play my own music. I don't have to worry about it lagging at all. And there's no animations. I feel like I should just do that. It's just I wanted to see if I really could truly maybe figure out a way for animations to work. And they seem like they could have for the most part. If I play with animations, I have to play with no music though. If I play with no animations, then same. I think I should just play with no music. Because it works sometimes, but sometimes it doesn't. So I think overall the music doesn't work. I think I should just play my own music. I mean, it definitely helps to have animations off, but I personally don't really care if we get lag during some of the animations. Just play the game with nothing. Don't play it at all. <laughs> don't play it at all. Do you mind if I test Fate, Michael? Would you mind? Or does that seem a bit too spoilery, even booting it up? Should I... are you okay with me s testing fates? Because now I kind of want to test Fire Emblem fates. That one gave more issues for me. Um, hold on, let me go to... Why would I care? No, because um, you haven't played it yet, so I was just, I don't know if you were okay with seeing the game before you have played the game, if that makes, by which I of course may know I don't care, <laughs> I just wanted to make sure, because, um, I need to find, okay, Fire Emblem Fates. I 
Do you legitimately think there will be something that could be spoiled tremendously on upon seeing like 10 minutes of the game? Uh, not necessarily, but I just, I'm going by my standards of spoiler. Like me, I would never want to see someone play a game if I never played it. Like, I don't even want to know, like, how it starts, how, if that makes any sense. Even though I'm going to be skipping everything, I wouldn't want to do that, but. I, I mean, if I skip everything, you won't, re it won't really spoil much. Um... That's if, um, assuming you at least know how the game starts out, because I, I'm assuming you at least know about the split of what side you choose and stuff. Um, where to get Fire Emblem Fae? Uh, how do I get this? I guess this is it. Okay, so we want... So when you do a... Do you do... um? It says there's types. There's the CIA format, the decrypted format, and the encrypted format. Which one do I pick? So I at least obviously want to go with USA. But like, which one do I do? CIA, decrypted, encrypted. I don't know which one I'm supposed to do. Okay, I got the CIA one. Which I don't know if that's okay. What well, don't know I don't know the difference. The reason I didn't get the decrypted one is because as soon as I clicked it, it opened up something and then when I go back it just disappeared from the list. I don't know why that happened, but <laughs> I have no idea why that happened, but oh well. You know what? Download both, why not? Just download both.
they didn't want you to get it decrypted, I know, what the heck? I know, it's like giving me so much issue just to download it. Like, what's going on? It keeps take. Ah, oh, I wanna. <laughs> ah. Okay, let's just wait for the CIA one to finish. Okay, it's ready. Um, now that it's ready, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, so now that you're ready, let me um open this up. I got uh, apparently I see uh, it's an installable file. Maybe it can be a saw or. Apparently a CIA is an installable file, meaning it can be installed on a, or it's an emulate. Ah, so how do I do that? So how do I install it per se? No, 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 no. Don't put it in dock station. Hold on, I have to use the bathroom. Okay. Oh, thanks. Um, okay. So... 
File install. File. Oh, install C. You're right. Oh. That's what that's for. Ha ha ha. I didn't know that. Um, There it is. Let's see. Okay. Now what? I'm in, I clicked install it. Does it work now? Uh, does it work now? It disappeared. What? Where? What? Where did it go? I install it. Now what happens? What? I'm so confused. Okay. Um, I don't know what to do now. I clicked installed and clicked the file and then it just nothing happened. And then when I go back, it's like it doesn't even show it there anymore. Nani. Oh no, it's still there, but... Do you want to install it? Yes. What? It's encrypted. <laughs> well, let's delete that. Okay, let's try this again. Download, please. It takes me to this weird... Weird website, though. Oh. There we go. Okay, well, that's a thing. Now we gotta wait two minutes. Sorry to everyone waiting. Hi, toenails on toast. This, you have a funny name. How you're doing? Um, right now we're kind of, we're not in the chill stream mode right now. I'm actually trying to get a game to work right now, so I apologize if um, what you're seeing right now on screen is a bit strange and confusing. I'm just trying to get this to work. We're trying to get a game running. A 3DS game specifically. So just give me... Funny names are the best. <laughs> they are. But yeah, um, I'm basically trying to get a 3DS game to work right now. And... It's... A pain in my butt right now. But I'll get it to work. It's fine. We got this. Okay.
Okay, it's almost downloaded. So, 10 more seconds. Let's see. 10, 9, 5 seconds, 2 seconds. Is it downloaded? Come on. Download. No. Da Why would you say that? Are you crazy, Michael? <laughs> I own the game. I don't do this for games that I don't own. I'm only doing this so I could stream it. Because it's impossible to stream 3DS games. <laughs> but I only do it with games that I that I own. So that's that's not true <laughs> at all. If Nintendo gave me a way to play these games and stream them easily, I wouldn't have to go through all this, but it's literally the only reason I do this is so I could um get this to work properly. On a stream. Um, let's see. Okay, delete that. Okay, so extract. Banana na banana banana na na Um okay Let's try this again now. There we go Let's see how fate works Let's see. Let's see. It seems like it. Salmane. Doesn't it? Don't tell me this one works better. Other than that. Okay, it's like a, the cutscenes are a little clunky, but like that doesn't really matter to me. We're not playing for the cutscenes. Here I go. This music sounds even extra awful. Cause it's like this song in general is for like a mess. Can I really not look at settings right now? Okay. They're really not gonna let me look at settings right now. Alright. 
again, it seems as though it works kinda. Tell me, Prince of Silence. This one seems to work worse than Awakening, I noticed. Nicely done! <laughs> Cause even before they talk, it like gets messed up. And I don't even have the music like playing from my stream. This is just the game running by itself. There's so much instructions, just shut the heck up and let me... Let me... Control the game. Listen. I just need a regular map, please. Oh my god, they don't give me a normal map until all this stuff first. Uh, they don't give me a normal map until later. There we go. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Right. Similar to Awakening, it's like the animations work okay without music. It's not the music that causes it to lag, but it doesn't... Like, the music just sounds awful if it lags at all. Well, if it's just a gameplay with no music, yeah, at least... It's, it's, like, the lag doesn't affect it as much. See, because right now that, that worked perfectly. How could I be so careless? See, it's working. How come it's like working fine now? Extraordinary. Xander died? Yeah, he died. He died so hard. That's it. He never comes back ever again. We just he just tells us to kill him for no reason. That that that's the game. He just dies. He, he just dies. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. Okay, so my my fates, we're gonna have to not use animations no matter what if we're gonna end up doing it like this. Like no animations at all. The question is though, if we can't use animations, are we able to still play the game of music though? 
I don't think so, but we could try. Yeah. So we're gonna have to play these games without animation. You have my support. Too slow. Is it as fun though without animations? So let's see something. We turn off animations, right? Okay, wait a minute. Does music work for this game? Hold on. You never found 3DS animations to be worth looking at anyways. That's surprising. That They're like the only ones I actually enjoy watching because the critical hits are so satisfying. Like every time I get a critical hit with Odin and Fates, it's so satisfying. I can't believe we have to miss out on that. Okay, this is the level that really determines if we could stream this, because it storms. Now, this is interesting. Because when I last played this, it wasn't working. At, like, the storming was making it lag a lot. Is it me, or it's like, now it's not even lagging. Like, I feel like we fixed it. Like, I don't know who, who was around for when I last tested this a long time ago it was lagging just to for the music to work the music's working perfectly and the storm is not lagging meaning we could at least play without animations i think honestly you know you know what's my theory streamlabs and that's so funny to me that streamlabs was the cause of everything obs doesn't take any resources so i feel like or as many that it's like this stream's almost near perfect. It's just the it's just the animations. But I think the animations has nothing to do with me, more so it has to do with just um it doesn't work for anybody. Because it's like the computer just can't handle it, regardless what computer it is. You have to have like a super optimized computer for specifically for this. But what I'm noticing, it's like, it seems to be that if I play with no animations, we might be able to play Fates and Awakening. We might actually be able to play it. This is my chance. I'm so happy right now. Because from what I'm seeing right now, with Awakening, I, I used to think Fates was the one that didn't work as well. So for Awakening, what we need to do, we need to turn off the music, put our own music on, and turn off animations. For this, we need to turn off animations, and that's it. So Awakening is the one we have to turn off animations and music, and then put our own music. I think with this, we'll be fine. And then worst case scenario, I just turn off the music here too, and put my own music. But you guys have to let me know, is it good right now? Does it sound fine? Does the music sound fine? Is it, is it running fine on your guys' end? I need to know for sure so I can know if it's good. I mean, I'll check the stream afterwards, but from what I'm seeing, it seems like I, I just need to turn off animations for Fates. I remember back then, I couldn't even play Fates at all, it was unplayable. Awakening was the only one that was kind of playable, but animations had to be off, and it's like, it was still kind of a pain. This seems to work almost perfectly, I think we're good. And that it runs fine, yeah. A lot of hoops just to stream 3D as Fire Emblem. How painful for streamers. I know, it's a shame. But I'm excited, guys, because we might be able to finally stream these. Like, I think these... Other than, um... New Mystery... This was the most requested, right? For us to stream. 
we can finally do Garen quest. Let's just do a whole map. Just cycle, make sure everything's working. I mean, that lacks up there. The dragon veins lag. Which is a little annoying to me. But as far as, like, everything else... It feels good to play this on the TV. It feels really weird playing this on the TV. This is a game I never picture playing on the TV. <laughs> ah, you see, it still lags though. Like, can I not have that, please? I don't want it to lag at all. If I'm turning animations off, you better not lag. Come on. really lagging it, it lags like five percent of the time which i will be able to settle with i will be okay with that <sighs> i have to play this on lunatic possibly Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this week to just... Uh, we've got trouble! Um, <laughs> um... Oh man, it feels like I'm never able to talk about fates and its characters. I can't wait. Oh, bye Felicia. <laughs> Literally, bye Felicia. <laughs> Literally saying bye Felicia, unironically. <laughs> Okay, no one kill me, please. Why? Right, so I'm gonna use this week to just... Stream this every single day and see if it works. Like, I'm just gonna keep replaying the same map over and over again for a few days to see if every day it works. Because there's always some days it could not work, so I want to make sure it works consistently for a week before I play it for real. Oh my god, we have to get through all this. What the heck? How did I make it up to that? Oh no, it was the bridge chapter I was on. Okay, it seems to be working. So for this, I just have to turn off animations. That's it. That's all I have to do. We could play Fates. That's all I have to do. If I play Awakening... I have to turn off music. Right? Let's just transition. Let's get used to just switching between them. Let's get my computer used to it. Shall we then? Really? 
It's amazing how when I play Fates in comparison to Awakening, it's like I get more excited for Fates. Like I start playing Awakening and I'm just like, Ugh. <laughs> like I don't want to play it as much as as Fates. Like Fates is just that much better. <laughs> Yeah. No, okay. So, we have to put our own music for this one. And we might as well turn on a Mason Soul. I do feel Awakening runs better when animations are off, though. Like, Awakening, when everything is off on Awakening, it runs perfectly. Fates, it's like, we're able to play the music, but it'll lag, like, here and there once in a while. But Awakening, I think we're all set. Right. We're, all, we're all set with Awakening, because everything runs pretty good, as long as, you know... Awakening turns 10 years old on a week, how exciting. I was gonna say that. Is it fate? Pun intended. Is it fate? That we're gonna end up playing it soon? Because I said it'll take me a week to test this out. And then it's Awakening's 10th anniversary. Should I just name the stream 10th anniversary? That'll probably be a good, a good idea. Because there's so many people who did an Iron Man of this already, but maybe that'll spark interest in people checking out Awakening again, and I'll like, we'll get some new people, maybe. Lissa being a tank. Lissa being a tank. Why the big screen froze? For some reason, it's always that screen that freezes. I don't know why. Yeah. I should probably let the dialogue play out for the sole fact that. To make sure it works. Four twenty subscribers. <laughs> I know, right? We just need two more. Let me make sure the cutscenes work. Huh? Hmm. We seem to have an idea. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna play Awakening without any animations, no music, and we'll put our own background music. With Fates, I just have to turn off animations and we should be good to go. I'm gonna be testing both games for an entire week, like a little bit per chill stream. Just to see if it stays consistent for a week. Because I, I don't want to go through like maybe one day all of a sudden it decides to blow up and then we can never play it again. So I'm going to test it out for a week and then by next week we'll see if we'll start one of the playthroughs. Honestly, as much as I want to start Awakening first, I kind of want to play Fates more. Kind of want to play Fates more. But... I don't know. Also, Michael, random question. What 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 game are you planning to play first? Are you going to play Awakening or Fates first?
Um, let's see. Birthright Sword Master Takumi. Oh no, that's gonna be coming up every time I play Fates, isn't it? Oh no. <laughs> Not the birthright sword master Takumi. <laughs> oh no. Um, let's see. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing. So we'll see what happens. Um... Probably Awakening, but if you plan on playing Fates first, I'll probably play the first just to be more knowledgeable on it when you actually play it. Ah, I see. I think most likely we'll play Awakening first. So... Yeah, I want to kind of go in order. Because it, it just has more of a progression to it. The only thing, I'm not as experienced with Awakening as I am with Fates. So playing it on Hard Iron Man, it's a little scary. But I think that's part of the fun. I think watching me struggle to, to complete this Iron Man in comparison to Fates will be fun. Also, let's be honest. Let's be 100% honest. With all, with how much dedication I've put into my Three Houses Iron Man, I feel like anything's possible. With how crazy Three Houses Iron Man could be, and we've made it very close to the end, so close to the end, I think we could, um, we could pull off an Awakening Iron Man completion. My only worry is that I'm not as experienced, so... Well, at least it's just hard. You'll probably find a way to cheese the game. That's why I, I'm doing it on hard, because I'm not experienced. I haven't played Lunatic at all on Awakening. I've never tried it. I've never actually played it. Like, no one really does Lunatic Awakening, from what I hear. But then isn't there Lunatic's, Lunatic Plus too? The reason I don't want to do Lunatic is because it's too broken. It's not like, it's not even designed good. It's just like, you have to revolve around Frederick. I don't like that. It just feels like the game's like a puzzle. And I don't, I like my Fire Emblems to have more strategy than just being a puzzle game. I like it to be like, I could train any unit I want. And I could beat the game with any unit I want. I don't want it to be like, oh, you have to use this character. Because that's it's a puzzle. It's like we're building the, the game around a puzzle. I don't think that's a good design. I don't think a Fire Emblem should be built like that. It should be that you could use any character. And still be able to beat the game. With any cast of characters on your team. Fates lets you do that you're actually able to still um, salvage someone like Odin and still make them work. Well, on Awakening, it's like the beginning. It's like almost impossible to be on Lunatic unless you're using Frederick. If you lose Frederick at all on a Lunatic Iron Man, you reset. No question to ask. <laughs> yeah, wow, that's crazy. So yeah, we're going to do hard because that seems to be like the, the normal Iron Man option for the game. Like, the hardest difficulty for an Iron Man, that's normal, and not like, it's hard enough, but not to the point where it's just not fun. It's at least to an extent, like, challenging, but also, and still scary enough, but like, not easy either. I'm not very, and also, I'm not really a cheesy type of player either, so you don't have to worry about me cheesing too many stuff, because I'm not really one to just do that. I like balancing my team and leveling them, them up evenly. I don't really solo the game in any of my Fire Emblems. So I think we'll be fine with that. With Fates, I know exactly how to play it. I've played a Lunatic 
Iron Man before technically, because I got to the last, what happened? I got to the last map, so many units died, I couldn't even beat it, so I had to just restart, because it was impossible to beat it. And then I caught up in one day to the part I was at. One, two days, I caught up back to the finale without anybody dying. I don't know how the how I did that, but it proves that I might be able to pull off an Iron Man if I do it right. The only thing, this is on a stream. And I haven't played Fates in a while, so hopefully, you know, I'm able to... I'm able to pull it off. So, I don't know the outcome of either of them. I don't know if I'll be able to complete any of them. Three houses, for some strange reason, I don't know why that, I was super confident. I felt like I played it so much, I feel like I was... And we've come so close. I feel like I'm confident more with that than even Conquest, to be honest. As weird as that may sound. But... Maybe that's a good thing, because now when I go to Fates, maybe it won't be as difficult as... As, um, Three Houses. Here's the thing with Three Houses. Three Houses has this thing where it's like, you just have to know where everyone's gonna be placed. So I feel like you're more fine if, like, a, a reinforcement comes. You just have to make sure you have everyone together and all that stuff. Gambits. Awakening, you don't really have a cushion. And Conquest, you don't have a cushion. If someone die, is about to die, it's really hard to salvage it. Because at least in Three Houses, you know how you have a Gambit that could save you? That's why, that's why if you wonder why I was so confident in Three Houses, it's because of that. There was, I always felt like there was some way of salvaging or saving like a situation with a Gambit or like any... I feel like with Fates... You make one mistake, one mistake in Fates, and it's all over. So like if I if I I have Xander in like a really difficult spot, if I don't have a rescue on me or have like chance of avoiding a bunch of enemies or all that, like it's over. So I just have to make sure I um I feel like a Conquest Lunatic Iron Man is often considered near impossible purely from Endgame. Like, that's the reason you could do the rest, but then Endgame would just delete all that progress. Ooh, okay. Well, that just gets me more excited then, because then that means if I pull it off, then... That'll just be even more impressive. Now, here's the difference, though. The reason I'm confident in my Conquest Lunatic Iron Man is for the fact it's been done before. Two, I've actually prepared for this specific Iron Man. Like, I've played Conquest Lunatic, and I've, I I kind of figured out how I could get through it if I were ever to Iron Man it. I have a, I have a way... Because I've played that map so many times from failing so many times that I think I, I have an idea of how to conquer the map with the resources I'll have in this particular playthrough. And the playthrough that I did, I didn't have the necessary um, resources. Because I feel like what makes that map hard is not having specific stuff with you in that map. And I'll go over that when we get to that map. But when you're playing that map without certain things, it's just, it's very difficult. There's so much like, you know, So I just, you know, I feel like I'm prepared for it. I think we could do it. Don't worry, Cho. I also feel more comfortable with three houses than fates. And then New Mystery just says you are dead. But then Cho's whole dodges 80s and lands 3% crits. I know. I hope we get that lucky with, with fates. Not that I need it, because I feel like the times I've done well in fates hasn't been from like typical chosen one dodges and stuff but that would actually help a lot it's so mean like the rest of the game is iron man doable if you know what you're doing but no one wants to do end game with the chance of doing the entire game again game again it makes you panic 
Yeah, but you know what's awesome about this? Is that I'm gonna have fun anyway. So much fun with it anyway. It doesn't take as long to get there. Like three houses. What I like is that the reason this is, this doesn't affect me as much is that three houses prepared me for this. Three houses is so much longer and we made it to the end and I failed at the end. So I know how it feels to lose an Iron Man already. But I feel like with three houses, so much work is put into the team and I was able to like recover from the loss. Fates? I reset it. I literally myself reset it on the final map and was able to get back up to the point again on the, on, on, in two days and then complete it. So it's like, when I think of it like that, it's like, oh, that's, it doesn't seem as bad if I lose. Because it's like, even if I lose at the very end, I've kind of done it before. I know, and it, three houses is much worse to lose at the end. While Fates is like, you know... I, and I don't think I would mind for the sole fact that it's just like the attempt itself will be fun because I'm aware of how broken the last map is so at least attempting it will still be fun also we're talking too much about fates and I'm thinking I'm going into fates next we can't talk about fates because I'm getting too excited we have to do awakening first that is like Like, I really want to play Fates so bad, but I think I want to do Awakening first. I mean, it makes sense. Um, Ruben's playing Awakening. Uh, Michael's going to be playing Awakening. So, like, we should... Let's, let's... It'll be fun. We all playing the same game alongside each other in a way. Most of us. I'm lucky I haven't lost an Iron Man yet, but I only tried an easier game, an FE12, but that's my game. Not sure how I'd take losing an Iron Man at Endgame. Yeah. I know, sometimes I forget I've completed an Iron Man. You know, that's what's so funny. I sometimes forget I completed an Iron Man. On three houses. I feel like no one mentions that. <laughs> Like, I completed three houses on hard, Iron Man. And I did it in my first try. <laughs> and it's like... That, that like, even pe people say, like, they don't even bother three houses Iron Manning, but I almost forget I Iron Man it. I Iron Man it on hard, and it's like, it wasn't hard at all, to be honest. <laughs> like, I find it more... More and in, more impressive to, to, to complete Iron Man on on maddening. For the sole fact that I was so used to how hard maddening was that going back to hard felt so easy to me. So that Iron Man was like piece of cake. Piece of cake. The happy that died. I forget you were you were there for that. That was the first time Shaky showed up, that's right. He showed up right when Happy died. I forgot Happy died in that Iron Man. That's the only regret I have in that Iron Man. So meaning I'm almost required to do another Iron Man in three houses for the sole fact that I have to make sure um Happy survives. Cause it's funny, in all the Iron Man attempts I have done, Happy has been surviving until the end. But I just happen to lose or something. With we'll either by left or Edelgard. But we've been doing a good job. Yeah, I still remember. I I happy got like crit randomly. I didn't realize you were there for that though. For some reason I thought you came after that. Dang, it's really been almost a year. Fire Emblem 3 Hopes Iron Man. <laughs> yeah, those I, I wish I could say I will be confident to do that, but Warriors games stress me out. For the sole fact that an Iron Man in real time is way too stressful. And on a stream. 
because it's like you have a time limit so it's like that's just way too strange and it's like i'm not a master at warriors games like that's way different than a strategy fire emblem game where i know the mechanics and i know how to like you know play while warriors is just like completely different so it's like it just works differently so it's like i don't even know if i would ever attempt something like that but we never know maybe we will <laughs> maybe i'll get so good at the game that i'll be like confident to do something weird like that for three hopes maybe the gameplay is different enough and more strategic enough or even though it's a warriors game it'll still be fun to play like that but i don't know Anyway, I'm gonna end the stream now, so yeah, like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you want to see more of my stuff, and I've been the chosen one. And I'll see you on Nintendo, God bless, I love you all. We didn't really play anything, but I still had fun testing stuff and um, talking about the trailer and stuff, so maybe tomorrow we'll play something, but yeah, um, see you guys next time. <laughs>